Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mode. Here we have interesting algebra problem. We need to solve for a, a cube plus 5a equal to 42. How can you solve this? First of all, let's try to simplify this a little bit. Let's bring this 42 on the left. So as a result, we will have that a cube plus 5a minus 42 equal to zero. Just bring this 42 on the left. What are we going to do next? Let's write this 42 as 27 plus 15. So this 42, let's write as 27 plus 15. Okay, let's write equal to zero and let's, let's write this a cube plus 5a and minus this 42, let's write as 27 plus 15. What are we going to do next? Let's open our parentheses. So as a result, we'll have a cube plus 5a minus 27 and plus 15 and minus 15 yeah minus 15 equal to zero because we open our parentheses what we're going to do next of course let's group this 27 with a cube because we all know that this 27 can be written as 3 cube this is our 3 cube and this 5a let's group with our 15. So as a result we will have that our a cube minus 27 plus 5a minus 15 equal to 0. Just group this a cube and 27 and this 5a and 15. Okay, we can write this 27 as 3 cube, a cube minus 3 cube plus 5a minus 15 equal to 0. What are we going to do next? Of course we all know the formula, the different of cubes right here, so I write this formula right here, a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b times a square plus a b and plus b square. We can use this formula right here and of course we have 5a minus 15 and right here we can factor out 5 and as a result we will have in our parentheses a minus 3 which we need from here and then we factor out all common a minus 3 so let's write a formula different of cubes a cube minus 3 cube as a result we will have a minus 3 and in second parentheses we will have this thing we will have a square plus 3a and plus 9. Okay, this will be our first formula. Take a look right here. 5a minus 15. We can factor out 5 plus 5. And in parentheses we will have a minus 3 equal to 0. Take a look. We have a minus 3 and a minus 3 right here, so we can factor out this a minus 3 as a common. So let's do this. We will have a minus 3, and we have this parentheses and this plus 5. a square plus 3a, and I add this 9 plus 5 plus 14 equal to 0. Really good case. We have a product, so this parentheses will be equal to zero or is this parentheses equal to zero? Let's start with the first one. So we will have that our a minus three equal to zero. So our a first equal to three. This will be our first root, first answer a first equal to three. Of course, you can check it. Take a look right here. We have the second parentheses a square plus three a and plus 14 equal to Zero. How can we solve this? Of course, let's find our roots using a classic formula a second and a third equal to minus b minus 3 plus minus square root of, let's calculate the square root, we will have 9 minus, minus uh, 14 times 4, we will have minus 47 as a result over 2 Let's simplify this a little bit because this will be complex root right here. So we can write this as minus 3 over 2 plus minus and this square root 
of minus 47, I can write as minus square root of minus 1 times square root of 47 over 2. This will be our e, because we all know that square root of minus 1, 1 equal to e. And the final result will be minus 3 over 2 plus minus e square root of 47 over 2. This will be our second and third root. This will be our first root, second and third. So we will have three roots right here. Of course, we can check it. We will have a cube plus 5a. So as a result, we will have 27 plus 15. We have will have our 42. So this root is good for us. But this root is real number root. This will be complex root. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, maybe you have a faster method how to solve this, write your suggestion in the comment. It will be really interesting to read it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.